Before starting the story, I want to tell you that this film has received an Oscar. So keep your eyes on this story. This story will make your heart happy. This story will bring your emotions alive. The story of that time when Hitler ruled. At that time, Jews were being persecuted a lot in Germany. During this time, a Jewish girl, Rosina, had to run away from here to Africa. When Rosina left her glamour and came to the jungles of Africa, what problems did she and her innocent family have to face? Let's watch. The time was 1938, when atrocities against Jews by the Nazis started increasing in Germany. The atrocities were increasing to such an extent that the sisters and daughters of the Jews were being molested and tortured. Meanwhile, we see a happy Jewish family. When Walter's job was taken away because he was Jewish, he understood that the coming times could be very dangerous. The situation will become so bad that any time his family may also have to become a victim of this violence. So Walter went to Kenya, Africa, and there Walter started working as a manager in an animal farm. Then he invited his family also to come there. But his father and sister did not agree to come to Kenya. They believed that this riot would last for some time, then everything would be fine. But only Walter's wife and his beloved daughter reached Kenya. After reaching here, they realized that not only were Hitler's soldiers here to kill them, but the poisonous mosquitoes here were no less than Hitler. Because of these poisonous mosquitoes, Walter got malaria. Even medicines did not give him any relief. Then Walter's cook cured Walter with herbs. This cook's name was Aor. That's why when Walter wrote a letter to his family to invite them to Kenya, he'd asked them to bring mosquito nets here. But Walter's wife, Jetel, is not liking the farm life here. She feels suffocated here. There is neither good food to eat here nor enough water to drink. But Walter's daughter, Rosina, has become interested here. She spends most of her time with our war. Rosina is learning about the culture here. This is his childhood, so to him it all seems like a picnic. When she met Aur for the first time, she thought Aur's skin was made of dark chocolate. Walter is the manager of the farm in the village. There is a lot of water problem here. Due to lack of rain for a long time, all the water sources have dried up. Now even animals have started dying due to lack of water. Therefore, there is pressure on Walter to dig wells. When animals die, he has to hear scolding from the farm owner. Now six months have passed since I have been living here, and the water problem has not been solved yet. Water has become scarce not only for animals, but also for humans. Walter's wife has to walk far from home every day to get water. Even though she never did this, she feels like she is living a tortured life. Even the home cook Aur cannot help Jetel in this task. Because there is a stereotypical belief in Africa that the work of fetching water is only for women. One day Aor sees that his mistress is in a lot of trouble, so he starts helping her. Seeing this, the other women start making fun of Aor. Seeing all this, Jetta feels as if she has come to a mental asylum. She does not feel like here at all. That's why she wants to go back to Germany, because she has her own house there. But to live here, they have to take care of other people's cattle and also collect their dung. Then Walter explains to him that, I heard a news on the radio that the Nazis have burned down Jewish homes, orphanages and shops. The Nazis have also started killing the Jews. They no longer even consider the Jews as human beings. The fear that Walter had now started in Germany. Anyway, their life was absolutely safe here. Hearing this, Jettel never insists on Walter going to Germany. Here Rosina becomes friends with the children of the village. Now she has started understanding their language also. Rosina spends most of her time playing with the children there. However, Jetel tries to keep him away from those chocolate babies. She is also worried about her daughter's future because living here has completely halted her education. Africa is a British colony and it is ruled by the British government. One day a group of British soldiers comes here. He wants to take with him those German Jewish men who have agreed to volunteer to help him against Germany. In return, their accommodation and food will be arranged in Nairobi. Walter also joins this group, so the whole family has to go to Nairobi, and now they are allies of the British Army. Those Jews who decided to support the British Army had to join a contingent of the British Army here, and their families are kept in a hotel. While living here, Jetta becomes friends with a British soldier. He gets Jetel's husband a job in the cornfield here. But in return for this favor, Walter has to sleep with her. Jetel has also started liking this new place. This place is very beautiful. There is greenery all around. One day, their old cook Awar also comes looking for them. 
because he had heard that they need a cook. When Rosina sees our war, her happiness knows no bounds. Rosina has completely integrated into this place. She even likes a boy here. When Regina gets admitted to a school in Nairobi, their distance begins to grow. But whenever Rosina comes here during holidays, she definitely meets that boy. Rosina attends a British boarding school in Nairobi, but in studies she is performing much better than other British and Jewish children, because of which the school principal gifts him a storybook. After some time passes, Walter again joins the British army, and he also asks Jetel to accompany him. But Jetel prefers to stay here, because she has started liking the work on the farm. After Walter leaves, she takes care of the farm work well. Even the locals here have started recognizing him. Jetel has also embraced Africa like his daughter, Rosina. Now he doesn't miss Germany at all. She has faint memories of Germany in her mind, which she does not want to remember. Now she has no desire to return to Germany at all. Here a man named Suskind helps him in the farm work. Suskind has been living here for a long time, but he is not married yet. Once Jetel asks him why are you not married yet, on this Suskind says that, whenever I fall in love with someone, later I come to know that that girl is already married. Actually Suskind had started loving Jetel, and Jetel also understood this. But these two never came close to each other. Even after the war ended, he spent many years in Kenya. But now Walter wants to go back to Germany and contribute to making Germany a democracy again. When Walter applied, he got a chance to serve as a judge in a court. When he tells this news to his wife and daughter, they are not happy at all. Jetel now does not want to return to Germany under any circumstances. In such a situation, Walter leaves for Germany alone. While he is leaving, he sees a group of locusts moving towards the farm. In such a situation, he returns midway and drives away the locust group with the help of his wife and the villagers. Jetel is very happy to get Walter back, because earlier Jetel used to think that Walter was suspicious of her and Suskind. But now that Walter has returned, she has understood that Walter does not have such bad thoughts. So now she decides to go to Germany with Walter. However, taking this decision is very painful for him. There was a time when she wanted to go to Germany, even during the war. She did not like life here at all. But now she has started loving this place so much that she wants to stay here. Rosina also does not want to go to Germany because she does not remember anything about Germany. Because when she came here she was a child. But now she has become a young girl. Rosina is very attached to her Kukka war, so the thought of him leaving breaks her heart. While returning to Germany, Jethel meets an African woman who was selling bananas. Jethel touches his hands as if she is bidding him a last farewell. This is Jethel's last farewell to Africa. Perhaps now she will never be able to return here. The film ends with this emotional farewell. Thanks for watching till here my dear friends.